So I just got back from a jog, walk, um, whatever, and it's the first time I've done it in a, in a while, in quite a while, and it kicked my ass. But I'm super happy that I did it, um, because getting something over and doing it the first time is always the worst, and then everything after that is better. That sounds really dirty. Getting back in the swing of being healthy and, and trying to eat good and trying to, or eat well, and trying to also apparently know grammar. Trying to exercise and do good things for my body and good things for my mind. I saw I mentioned in a comment yesterday, and I've seen it a bunch in other videos and on Tumblr and things like that, um, and I think I might make it a future topic for Project Life Size, which is kind of talking about the idea and the practice of health at every size. I feel like there are people who think I reject the notion of health at every size by actively losing weight. And I find that ridiculous because health at every size can only really exist if you are healthy at every size. I either continue to do unhealthy behaviors and eat bad foods that I know are processed and aren't good for me and aren't fulfilling because that's why I'm snacking throughout the night and I'm eating things that sometimes I'm not even hungry and I'm eating them. I'm eating food 100% because of the pleasure of it and because of the comfort of it and my emotional attachment to it as opposed to actually wanting to fuel my body having no relationship with exercise, and then also having health problems. So I think it would be irresponsible for me to continue doing those behaviors and then claim health at every size or say that I, you know, I take care of my body when I know that I'm not. I think it's more responsible for me to be more educated and aware of the food that I'm putting in my body and why I'm doing it and my relationship with the behaviors that are part of my life. Health at every size doesn't make any damn sense if you are not being healthy at the size you're at. It's like some it's like someone telling me this drink tastes really good, but they have never tasted it. it means nothing to me. I feel like in this world and in this community, you either are so proud of being the size that you are and you draw strength from being that size and you're like, fuck you to the world, I do what I want, or you're miserable in who you are and you want to change it so drastically that you figure the only way to do that is to lose weight and be thin. There aren't a lot of people, I feel like, in the middle ground that are like, I accept responsibility for the things that I do and the things that I eat, and I know that health is not something that you are just given at birth and then one day will run out um, regardless of what you do or don't do. Like, I feel no shame saying that I'm fat, but I also feel no shame saying that I was at my heaviest size because of unhealthy things that I was doing, including having a poor relationship with food and a poor understanding of food and also no relationship with exercise. I don't find shame in that because I didn't stop loving myself or have to start loving myself at any point during that process. I always loved myself during it. But you can still love yourself and not be so stubborn that you're unwilling to take responsibility for things you do and be educated about the things that you do and accept the consequences for the things that you do and love yourself. You can do all those things at the same time. And I feel like there's no middle ground <laughs> sometimes in the world or in this community. And it frustrates me. And the idea of health at every size being put out there by people who are not being healthy at any size, it frustrates me, it frustrates me. And I don't know if it should frustrate me. That's also a question I have, but this, I want, maybe I'll talk more about it in another video. Maybe I'll have that as a topic, but that's something that I've been thinking a lot about lately. Ridiculous. I hear Margo outside making guttural sounds like a little baby boar.